people that set up the parties at Bohemian Grove for all y'all ho babies. Them. They know that once the people find out that we've been in rotation and rotating this uh, hey baby uh, myth as long as we've been rotating this myth and while they got us like you said the scientists believe this world is coming to an end right while they got us stressing about the world coming to an end and all that They've got stuff planned to 2050. 2030, 2050. Way out there. Nah. You know. The way my life's set up, the way my mind's set up, and all of that. You know. I believe Jesus. Period. But the way my mind's set up, I believe. While they got us waiting for him to crack the sky. It's going to go over some folk head, but it's, it's, it's messing me up, too. I believe he ascended, then he also descended, then he also ascended again. And in the ascension, again, he said to go wait and tarry. And so they waited and waited and they tarried and tarried and they waited until he showed up, which was in the spirit of the Holy Ghost. I believe it's just me, Lady D, the truth seeker, the true, true speaker, and I'm just telling you what, you know, what I got. Hey, baby. Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, he not already came. And he lives in the whosoever wills receive of his Holy Spirit. Now, unfortunately, over the years, you know, generation to generation, nation to nation, folk been hmm, using his grace to none effect and Diminishing his deity of being living on the inside of us. And so, the gatekeepers who were afforded the opportunity to uh, get the information or the downloads concerning creation, you know. Agreed upon keeping a myth going and in doing so there was a fear factor that was imparted to the people a fear factor in which I think we should every day live our lives as though he's coming back that day. Right? So, I ain't refuting the fact that he coming. But he coming when he coming and whenever he come, it's an individual thing. You know, they been <laughs> having mass genocidal Raptors with all of the uh, distribution of uh, certain things that were mandated that the people partake of. And so fear made people partake of a substance that is 
not only exterminating people at a alarming rate, but the minds of the people are being warped because of the partaking and receiving that which was distributed. And in the midst of all of that going on, you know, the gatekeepers that's up there, up there and everywhere, them are, how are you doing? Exploiting the gospel. For selfish gain. And conflicting the minds of God's people to believe a lie versus the complicated truth. Excuse me. And the truth is complicated, man. It is, unfortunately. It's complicated. So, you have to ask one. What is it that would make the ones who took the oath to lead the people, what would make them go left? and begin to live immoral lives or uh, not begin but uh, unrepentantly live immoral lives and you know the people just be okay with it what is it in their dome now I know that once people took or partook of the stuck em ups that their genes and mind was altered. And because they don't understand the knowledge of their genes being altered, they find it hard to believe the complicated truth. And the truth is very much complicated. It's so complicated till it's a thin line between belief and non-belief. And you have to be endowed in it with the Holy Spirit in order to even articulate what I'm saying. Because it's not a popular thing. Because everybody rapture ready. Or say they rapture ready. Everybody looking for Jesus to correct the sky when he came. He already came. With Pentecost. We just missed it. The ones who don't want to partake of his Holy Spirit. It's unfortunate. And then, then inside of all of that, Confusion and distraction. They want to replace place the humans with robots. Robots who have no feeling, no, they have no emotion. They have no compassion. They have, they, 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 robots are robots. They're mere, 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 um, robots. <laughs> Metal, material. They have no emotional tank. So, I was talking to my lunch date, and 
you know, we were talking about um, this subject about the robots and them wanting to replace us with robots, humans with robots, and. It's unfortunate that one would even think that that was possible, though it may be possible way down the line. But he said, he said that until the people, we the people, grasp the concept of what's really going on, then there's going to always be a discrepancy in the atmospheres and the hemispheres and the stratospheres. And the discrepancy would be those who believe and those who don't. He was telling me that he had saw. Uh, an excerpt where there was a question someone asking AI the, you know what what uh, what what they would do the robots if in fact they couldn't control us Yo, the robots say they will kill the humans. Now, I told him to send it to me. And I hope he sent it to me. But I might not. I don't know. I might be able to play it and I might not. You know, YouTube just let me just get a little life up in there. So I don't know how they're going to act if I post it. Because they know I, I speak truth to power. i just been quiet a little bit. Because y'all getting on my nerves. And before I get on here and cuss y'all out or cut somebody out or cut somebody, I just choose to be quiet. But the robot said that they would kill the humans if they couldn't get their way. Y'all remember the Terminator? Terminator 1, Terminator 2, Terminator, all them Terminators. And now all of a sudden something went down with Arnold Schwarzenegger about some flipping watches. Like it's time for them to do whatever they gonna do. The blood of Jesus cover the whole and saturate the globe. The blood of Jesus cover all of the believing believers. And that no hurt, harm, and danger will come to any believing believers and their families, saved or unsaved. We got to take a stand in the Holy Ghost and then in that be at peace with whatever the Lord say because all things work together for the good of them that love God and are the called according to his purpose so all that other stuff is futile I know my spirit is a little different because I've been writing since I've been writing and I had to get away from that That's why I'm walking. You know. But my little lunch day, we were talking, and you know, it's amazing how life set up and the world set up. It's like, D, that's a big old beast, that's, you know. I say, but God is, has the final say. Like, they can say and do whatever the hell they want to say and do. But at the end of the day, I'm well, how are you? God has the final say. Period. There is no no middle ground. There is no us against them. It's God against them. And if we stand with God, we ain't got to worry about them. And Shem and them. And them. Holler at y'all. Holler at y'all. One love.